40 minutes, can I survive? <coughs> It's like I was afraid I was gonna make the I wasn't gonna make the jump, so I wasn't going to attack because attacking mid jump usually makes you fall faster. That's kinda of what I learned from that gliding move in Crash 3. It's like the gliding move really doesn't help you make those jumps. Why don't you say he's gonna attack me mid jump? Thank you, Pity Health. It's like when most of the time I just die of these spikes. That's pretty much the main hazard of this part. Wait a minute. What about the ones with, where the platforms all go in at the same time? Because I sure don't remember a checkpoint before that. Unless this is a pity checkpoint, in which case... Okay.
it's going to turn out there's like a death route or something. I won't be able to get all the boxes. Okay, so the bird and the platform are in sync. That's good. <laughs> well, Forms are also in sync. Please just give me a checkpoint in every one of these things. Six boxes from the end. Pity health doesn't really help this time. Unless I can try to platform on the spikes. Take a little damage boost out of desperation. Doesn't seem like that could work. Okay. Arguably could have worked. Whoa. That time I would have overshot the platform. Should have gone. Like, as soon as I land on that one, I have to go. be like boxes down there. Okay, burbs.
Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, no. Bad, bad, bad. Got the formula. Side cherry. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Stormy ascent completed. <sighs> oh yeah, so it's just like like a quick travel point to a final island. It's, it's kind of cool. Any other levels we could do? don't know which ones needed gems or whatever. Let's just look at jungle rollers. what we have to check up here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I don't think we can actually go here. Complete this. What's up, Cherry? Let's at least time attack the first level. <laughs> so you gotta work late on Monday. That's the day I get my whole surgery. Uh oh. Oh, well, that was awesome. Nice. I'm actually, my phone is at 12:20. <laughs> of course, I failed in this simple jump. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, not going to the right because he has to cross those boxes, which he can't do while invincible. gonna be like dash when you beat Cortex, I forgot. That's obviously what we need. Alright, let's just go fight Cortex. Okay, it's the green ones. That one's gonna come from the side, okay, yeah. Some of them are gonna be up above. Oh, we have to build it up. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't think you'd shoot that fast. Some of them go like like that. It's kind of like Cat and K rule. So I don't have pity help this time. All right, we're gonna shoot fast, crud. All right, final hit. What are you gonna do? Oh, <laughs> final hit is just. Yeah, just finish me. <laughs> wow. Uh, just like uh, Gruntilda. So, so, this character is just Crash's girlfriend, who doesn't appear in the later two games. She looks like Candy Kong. Alright. Did we get a dash power? It's like, how do you expect me to beat that first time attack? Apparently not. Hmm. It's a shame. Yeah, Sword Ascent really was intended to be the final level, but they let you, uh, try to complete it ahead of time. Where's, uh, the hog level? Yeah. Let's try to time attack this. Since it's like an auto-scroll.
Oh, oh yeah, um, this stupid guy again. <laughs> to like, clip the very side of the box as you quickly dodge him. Gold! How the heck do you platinum that? I got I got all the boxes. And there's no dash button as far as I'm aware in this game. Like how though? How do you go faster than that? It's it's dumb. So where's one of those challenge levels? Hmm, yeah. I'll attempt this one more time. This aspect is definitely something the other games did better. Like, they didn't try to stack all these crazy challenges on top of each other. Sometimes they did. It's like, just give me the normal break every box in the level and you get a gem. And then make a separate gem for get through the level without dying. And then make a separate gem for finding the death route section. But, like, don't put boxes in the death route section. And then force you have to backtrack through a different part of the level just to get other boxes you'll have missed when the death route lets you out. Like, just don't put any boxes in the death route. Just put normal gem in the death route. And sometimes uh, the death routes don't do that in the later games. Because in, in later games, they try to keep most of these challenges separate from each other. But this game, it just stacks all the challenges onto each other. Like, you have to find these hidden bonus tokens to get all the boxes. And you have to get all the boxes without dying. Like, all in, all in one challenge. It'd be a lot more manageable if I could just, like play through the level multiple times, and just do one challenge at a time.
doing an, a no death run of this level might be more reasonable if I didn't have to worry about all the boxes. It just drags it on. Yeah, and you're gonna like quickly fly away, so I gotta be mindful of that. <laughs> God, and the I really wish you could rotate the camera. God, this perspective is horrible. See, frog gun. It takes Crash's formula, it does it so much better. It, like, it has the thing where collect every coin in one run. And you can just do that in like one run through the level, even getting all the other treasures too. And then it has it like, uh, beat the time limit. And then get the level without getting hit, which you can do in conjunction with the time limit. Oh, Although you don't really have to, because the the checkpoints uh, reset your time for when you got them, so it's easier to do the time limit as opposed to the uh, the no hit run and frog gun. But yeah, either way, it just handles things so much better. So yeah, crash one, worst one. I mean, it, ha it has cool levels, cool level ideas rather. But it's got no slide jump, and that's all you really need. That's what these two games have, the slide jump. And of course, Crash 3 has a bunch of other helpful mechanics. Alright. Right. I got, like, half the gems, so that's satisfying. I beat Stormy Ascent on top of that. I got its gem. So, like, the next reasonable goal is trying to beat Crash 2. I gotta look up some secret exits. Oh. Okay, apparently the left trigger button does that. Didn't get any of the gems here. It's probably like a secret exit of sorts. What was this level about again? I don't know. I mean, now that I like beaten the main story of these games, I'm not, I'm not really set on continuing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 60, 69. Okay, I've, what's the deal with these guys? You gotta slide them. Oh, and, see, I already forget the slide is a thing. I don't know. I'm really just checking this level out. So I just don't remember why I didn't get all the gems or the boxes here. So like a death route. Oh wow, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, I gotta slide these right.
Yep. I remember these days. It's gonna wait for you to come through. It's like when I got all the gems in this game. <sighs> I'm done. It's like it implies that you can fight like Embryo. Forget all the gems in this game. Which means it might be a new boss. Because like Crash Seed just doesn't have a new boss. No, no. For certain levels I just don't, in this game, I just don't feel like doing it again. This might just be the end of the Let's Play. I think I've experienced plenty of crash now. I think I'm I think I'm good. Admittedly I have warmed up to this game. It, I like I like the challenges. It's certainly not gonna do all the challenges. The music's nice. There's certainly no David Wise, that's for sure. Or Grant Kirkhope. I like, it, I like it better than Spyro's music. How's that? Um, what else do I like? I mean, yeah, and the, the secrets between these two games, they are clever. Crash 1, not so much, because most of them is just get, through, get everything without dying. Blah. Impossible. So will I get Crash 4 when it's on discount again? <laughs> I'm not gonna... I don't want to pay that much for Crash 4. There's a handful of other games I want, though. Like, uh... Thinking about getting Hollow Knight, Mario RPG. It will be my first time playing RPG that won't be blind. Quick, quick little side tangent though, Crash 4 isn't really Crash 4. Cause there's, it's actually like the 8th game. Cause the, it's like the real Crash 4 was, um, like the Wrath of Cortex on the GameCube. Well, GameCube era. And that's the one I actually played. Like, I played through like, the first two worlds. And then I got stuck on an airship level in the second world. Then I just stopped playing it. The uh, and Tiny Tiny Tiger was like the first boss, so that's the one I played back then. See, that's the thing. I can't really tell any of these games apart. Like, they all really work and look the same. I guess so does the Donkey Kong Country trilogy if you look at it from far away. But when you observe it up close, they they really do look different. Well, they feel different at least, but these Crash games, nah, they're, uh, they're essentially the same, just Crash 3 gives you more abilities. You know, also these, these hub levels, these hub levels are just really straightforward and bland compared to other platformers. Um, Crash 1 had a world map, I, I like that better, I kind of wish they, they would have reused that. Although, then again, this... I guess these hub levels are easier to navigate, and Crash 2, probably the best in terms of seeing which levels you completed. Because like with the other games, you can't see which ones you completed without directly going to them, and that's just kind of annoying. Especially in Crash 3, when you have to push all the buttons and wait like a second for it to load. <laughs> so yeah. In that specific aspect, Crash 2 handles it the best. Just look at all... All, all these gems I collected. Not all of them, of course. Probably not gonna get all of them. Uh... Yeah. Very, just very hit-and-miss game here. It's got fun ideas. It's got janky mechanics. It's got inconsistent mechanics. Like... Some some of the straightforward levels have invisible walls to prevent you from going off the side, but some levels don't. In the in the the, the 
the future technology levels, you it teaches me that you can't jump on the elevators. Except in future tense, you have to jump on the elevator to find the big secret you need. Can I only farm this guy once? That's a shame. I'm just like taking my anger out on this polar bear because I don't like his levels. Yeah. Just. R really weird controls in a lot of places. Not always cooperative. And in inconsistent of form. like secret based formulas. And then there's certain enemies, like, it's always a gamble which enemy you're allowed to attack or jump on and which ones you're not. Unless you have health, then you can actually risk it. Like, enemies that look spiky on top can actually be jumped on, even though the game makes you think you can't jump on spiky enemies. It just depends what kind of spike, doesn't it? This that kind of chunk. But yeah. Crash Bandicoot, insane trilogy. Finally got to play this timeless classic. <laughs> timeless, because the time attacks. <laughs> Maybe we'll see you in the future, Coco. Or I will only play as you, unless I'm forced to play as your brother. Goodbye.